Today we have a XL1400 train TWY 030 two and a half ton 14 sear heat pump that we're going to be changing out the defrost board on. So we're going to change this board out and then we're going to take a look at some of the features that it has. The board is CNT 02940. It's a two speed fan motor control board controlling defrost for this particular train unit. So we're going to take a closer look once I change it out. Right now it is not initiating a defrost cycle and the unit's freezing up. One thing you want to keep in mind on these defrost boards is that you have two relays up here. You have two on the other defrost board but they're in a different configuration. So you want to select which unit or which uh, wire on your relay, talk about these two right here, is the common, normally open and normally closed. Make sure you're paying attention so you hook them up correctly on the new set of relays, which just looks a little bit differently so it can kind of fool you. Our new board is in place, so let's take a closer look at it. Uh, we have two sensors at the bottom, one for the coil, see the two yellow wires. Follow that down and around. See the coil sensor right there. On the other side, you have two black wires. That is your ambient sensor. That's right there. You would test that by going on a chart of ohms. It reads a certain ohms at a certain outdoor temperature. So that's how you could test that if it's performing correctly. And that's usually, I think, in the service fax for a train unit. Uh, the low voltage plug. All the different low voltage signals come in right there. Uh, the first plug to shut the fan off and defrost, or the first uh, relay to shut the fan off and defrost. The se second relay is to choose which fan speed will be used. As you see, there's two wires, red and black, and each one of those is the fan speed, one low and one high. And that's pretty much the board there. So we're going to shut the voltage back on, put it in heat, and uh, test out the defrost cycle and the uh, fan speeds. You can do all that at the bottom here on the test board. The unit is now running. The new defrost board is in place. And what the, fir the first thing we're going to do is uh, short the pins for the fan speeds, which is has a low fan pin down here, and on top of the test common, you're shorting in between those two, and the fan should go into low speed. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So the fan goes from low speed back up to high speed when we let it off. You heard it kind of rattling around in there. Now let's try it one more time. Here the switch, fan slows down. Take it off, hit the relay click, fan increases back up to high speed. And that's how that particular test goes. Now we're going to short the top test common pin to the force defrost pin and it should initiate a complete defrost cycle. On this particular unit since they scroll compressor, the unit will shut down and then switch into cooling with the fan off to melt the ice. That is so that there will be no loud noise going into defrost, although there's still you know, noticeable noise coming out of defrost. Uh, it was made in the homeowner's consideration. So let me test that out. The unit shuts off. It's about 20 or 30 seconds before the actual defrost cycle will commence. I have to kill a little time here. There's another reversing valve. There's another TXV. Same components on the last video. Exactly. No fan. Unit goes into cooling. A very cold line now. We're about to come out of defrost, you hear the scroll switch. A 
going back into E mode. So you still hear that quite a bit. But uh, at the beginning of the cycle, you no longer hear the loud. <laughs> For some reason, at the beginning, it's more important, I guess. But there goes the defrost test cycle. And I look at the defrost control boy 2940 on the train WCY 030.